morning so it's monday morning now we should have checked into disney last night but we decided to stay at adventura and it's a good job that we did because today they've, they've said they're shutting all of the disney hotels um on friday so it's a good job we didn't move over there and today we're gonna head into city water do some shopping disney have announced they're closing all the disney stores now so we want to get our shopping done in universal before they just decided to, to close the shops i'm gonna move a second because the sun is really glary in my eyes but it was a bit dark if i faced the other way so um yeah we're gonna go into city walk now see what's happening and then see what we can do around the resort today and tomorrow we are due to fly home tomorrow but that is all up in the air at the moment we don't know what's happening i'm gonna put my sunglasses on it's so dark even though it's indoors uh, there we go i can actually see now so yeah we're gonna head into city walk today and then go back to the resort this evening i think um see if there's a movie on by the pool or go up to the rooftop bar because we've got bar 17 in adventura which is meant to have amazing views and then yeah we're gonna go from there really um no plans for tomorrow other than flying home i'm um, looking to leave here around three o'clock for a 7 p.m flight as I said, flight all seems okay at the moment, but I know they are cancelling flights left, right and centre, so just waiting to see at the moment. I'm trying to wait for the balloon to go up at Disney Springs, because I noticed earlier you can actually see it in the distance on the horizon from our view, from our room, but it's not up at the moment. But if you look, if I just turn it around, it's just to the right of Volcano Bay. So you can see the volcano there from our room. And then just in the distance to the right is Disney Springs. But yeah, no balloon at the moment. I will try and catch that tomorrow before we check out if I can. Um, if not, I'll just insert an arrow here showing whereabouts it is for you guys. Um, any signs of it? No, nothing. No signs at all. But yeah so that's our view from my room anyway if you look carefully you can actually see the tube through volcano bay for the drop side where there's no water running through it just zoom in a bit more see it says the body plunge in there no we haven't been able to see the body plunge at all through it because before we could um only see the waterfall floating waterfall floating the waterfall falling down over the top but yeah, it's nice to have a Volcano Bay, Bay view. And also, it's only literally a three-minute walk to the entrance. We timed it the other day. And here is the entrance to Volcano Bay from our room. You literally go down to the hotel lobby. And then there is our pool area. And then there's a walkway under those um, under the thatch trees there, straight across to Volcano Bay entrance, which is there. So it is super close. So they were right when they said don't get the bus, just walk over. So yeah, we can see signs on the freeway saying about, well the interstate I think it is, saying about Epcot and Flower and Garden Festival. So gutted we're not going to get there. And also before I go, I got a bone to pick with Ben. Yeah, bone to pick with Ben. I wanted to go to the Disney store in the airport when we landed. I said, can we go and have a quick look? He was like, no, we're gonna go to loads of Disney stores on this trip. Let me at least skip one. We can have a look on the way back if you still want to. Now I found out the Disney store's gonna be closed, so I'm not gonna get to set foot in any Disney stores this trip. And I have a Disney gift card that I need to blow through that I got from Virgin. So I think I'm gonna have to do an order on shopdisney.com when I get back. My mum is in Arizona, so luckily I don't have to pay the international shipping and I'll have to order my Walt Disney World merch and get them sent there because I don't think I can hold off a haul until our next trip, whenever that may be. Hopefully October, but we don't know at the moment. So yeah, I'll take you along with us today. We'll see what see what's going on in City Walk. It'll be interesting to see if it's either absolutely manic because everyone from the resorts is there or if everyone has just gone home. I know this hotel was at 100% capacity. It dropped to 40 and they were expecting it to drop more. But even 40% capacity at all the hotels in City Walk could still be pretty manic. But yeah, we'll see. So the next time you'll see me is when we are on our way. Quick update, we are officially stuck here in Orlando. Flights home have been cancelled because Virgin can't get any flights back in. Not sure what's happening at the moment, but as soon as I have a further update, I will let you guys so know. We are officially stuck here in Orlando. We've just been told that our flight home is cancelled, the one we rescheduled for Tuesday. Um, basically, Virgin can't get any flights into the US even with no passengers on them. So we are stuck 
um not sure what's happening virgin rep taking all of our details so just waiting to find out now when and if they can get us home but could be up to 30 days so if it's 30 days i don't have the money to afford to stay here so fingers crossed virgin the travel insurance help us out we are just heading into city walk now go do some final shopping grab some lunch and then go from there the shuttle has just come so bear with me a moment so i officially feel like i am in the walking dead there is nobody have you ever seen universal this quiet it's so weird it's i feel like i'm gonna get attacked by a walker or a zombie or any other kind of weird demon yeah we thought it'd either be around from all the hotel guests or be dead because everyone's staying away it is dead literally there is nobody here I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. Kind of scares me a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Hi guys, Vicky through the looking glass here and welcome back to my channel and my final video in our Universal vlog series. So this one is going to cover our last two days of the trip. And uh, as I'm sure you can tell, they were a little bit fraught after the parks closed. So I didn't film as much as I thought I did. So the first day after the parks were officially closed, we said we would go into City Walk, we would maybe catch a movie, do the mini golf, um, just see what was open around there and what the atmosphere was like. Um, going into City Walk, it was completely dead. I felt like we were in The Walking Dead. <laughs> um, I did film footage on the bus going up to security and the fact that there was not a soul but the security and police saw me filming and made me delete all the footage. So I lost about five, ten minutes of footage of that alone. And um, just because I'd done it all in one take to edit down after. And um, because you can't film in the security area. Um, I didn't realise that at the time. So that was a little bit of a rookie mistake. But never mind. So we went through the security and bag check as usual. Went into City Walk and there was a handful of people there. All of the kiosks and stands were shut, um, but we mainly wanted to go to the Universal shops, get some last bits of merch that we hadn't already picked up and go grab some food. So we went into the Universal store at City Walk and we got some last little bits and bobs and some souvenirs for people and some extra bits for us. I've done a separate haul video so I will link that for you guys to see what we purchased. Um, I was quite shocked though in City Walk because I thought there was going to be multiple Universal stores. I guess I'd never paid that much attention before because in Disney Springs you've got all the different shops. You've got the Goofy's Candy Co, you've got Disney Style, you've got the big Disney store. What's it called? Is it World of Disney? I can't remember the name, I've had a complete memory blank. Please don't judge me, it's been it's been a long day. But yeah, there was only the one Universal store and it wasn't huge. So I was quite shocked that the merch you could get was quite limited, but we got everything that we wanted to get there. Luckily, we'd done most of our shopping already. So um, yeah, we just picked up a few extra bits. Then we headed over to the Universal Globe to get some extra photos there. We didn't have to wait or queue, which was a nice surprise because usually you have to wait a bit to get that perfect shot so that was nice so I will insert that here and then we headed over to Hard Rock Cafe and to the Chocolate Emporium had a look at the menus and decided that this time we were going to go to Chocolate Emporium for lunch so the freak shakes in there are incredible and we went for well I went for pizza I can't remember what Ben had I had the um it was cheese, I say cheese and tomato. It was like mozzarella and sun-dried tomato flatbread pizza. And it was really good. The only thing is we've never been to Chocolate Emporium before. And I was quite shocked that all of the cogs and the effects were done on screens. I thought it was going to be more like the outside where everything was done, well like manually I guess I thought it was going to have real cogs turning rather than just digital ones but it was still a really fun experience and it was really reasonable value as well at this point of our trip we were meant to be in Disney so we hadn't budgeted for any food as we had the full Disney dining plan included on our package so the extra money that we'd have to spend on food 
wasn't budgeted for um we did have some disney spending money that we obviously weren't going to be spending now so it wasn't an issue but it was really reasonable but i was definitely paying more attention to the prices of food at this point in our trip but we had a lovely lunch there and then we decided to check out um, the amc uh, which is the movie theater but there was nothing really on we fancied seeing at home we do have the cine world unlimited passes so we do go to the cinema quite a lot and that's in that's that's included that's paid for as we pay annually for our passes so we pay once a year and then we get unlimited cinema which is free which is amazing it's such good value because i get it discounted through work as well looking back i think we should have gone to see onward i'd already seen it but ben hadn't and we didn't expect things to change like they did when we got home and the cinema to be shut so we haven't been for well three months now and the mini golf was the only attraction as such that was open so the queues for that were quite long so we decided to give that a miss where we had found out that our flight home had been cancelled and potentially wasn't happening so we found out we were officially stuck we thought it was best to go back to the hotel check in with the virgin rep for any updates and go from there they told us that they were trying to fly an empty flight back in to america from the uk with just a pilot and one crew member to be able to get us home but that had been blocked at, the, at that time by trump so until they'd managed to get us a flight to get home we didn't know what was happening and we just knew we'd be an adventurer for the remaining time. We got back to the hotel then and found out they were shutting the resorts. So I will include the message that the hotel staff left on our room phone. 5.17 p.m. We have an important update to share regarding our hotel operations. As we continue to make the health and safety of our guests and team members our top priority and be responsive to current conditions, we will be closing our hotels at Universal Orlando Resort at 5 p.m. on Friday, March 20th. We are canceling your reservation and will process a refund for all unused nights. You will need to go to the front desk to check out for the refund to process. We are working hard to take care of the needs of our guests and team members. Thank you for your understanding. To save this message... Uh, that was quite concerning as we weren't sure at that point whether we would be able to get on a flight home or what would happen. Uh, we were contemplating potentially getting an internal flight over to um, the west coast of America to stay with family just so that we weren't stuck paying hotel bills indefinitely. And if the hotel closed, where would we go? So that was a little bit worrying. So we were looking at that option but Virgin then managed to confirm that our flight was going to happen. So that night we weren't that hungry as we'd had a big lunch at um, the Chocolate Emporium. So in the evening we just headed back into City Walk as the Starbucks in our hotel was closed. So we headed back over to City Walk for the last evening and we went to Starbucks, grabbed a drink and just sat and watched the sunset from City Walk, which was a lovely way to spend our last night. We then went back to our hotel and we watched WWE Raw because that was live at the time. And I think it was one of the first ones behind closed doors, which was really odd. And it was 316 days, so we kind of had to watch wrestling, it was a given. So yeah, we just had a nice, quiet evening together, which when you've spent the days back and forth in the theme park, it was just nice to do something just us, just like we would at home, really. Sorry, talking a lot, so drinking. But I'm using my universal mug, so at least I'm getting used out of that. <laughs> so our last morning, we woke up, packed our bags and I did what I usually do on the way out on a trip which was put two changes of clothes in my hand luggage just in case anything happened with a flight or we got stranded. Usually I only do that on the way out on a holiday in case our bags don't make it because when you're home if your bags are lost you've still got stuff when you get back but we weren't sure that the flight was going to happen or what was going on. We checked in with Virgin and they said 
they could categorically 100% say that the flight was going ahead. She said it's not something that she can usually say, but because they had flown in an empty plane just to get us and other passengers that were stranded home, they knew it was going ahead. So the flight was set in stone. We had a few hours to kill. So we checked out of our room. Um, I don't think we had to leave until about two or three o'clock to get to the airport. So we spent the last day chilling by the pool. When we checked into the hotel, it was 100% capacity for the first few nights. Well, we were only there for three or meant to be. Um, By the end of the trip, it was down to 8%. So we had a nice seat by the pool. I think there was maybe 10 people there in total. And then we grabbed some lunch at the hotel, which was Urban Pantry is the main dining location in Aventura. When we went to Urban Pantry for some lunch, it's usually got different stations, kind of like a food court where you can pick the type of food you fancy, but the options were very limited. So we both had burgers for lunch, which were incredible. And then we did go to have an ice cream by the pool a bit later, but there was no ice cream. Who sits by the pool and doesn't have ice cream or a margarita? I know it's first world problems, but I was devastated. So um, yeah, just had some food, sat by the pool, had a cold drink, but not a margarita, sadly. And then when we had about an hour left, we thought, right let's get ourselves sorted so we just went and sat in the lobby and we played um, Trivial Pursuit and Mario Kart on the Nintendo Switch. We usually take it just to play on the plane but this trip actually came in quite handy so that was nice just to have some time doing that whilst waiting for our taxi to the airport. Again having to get a taxi to the airport wasn't in our budget as we were expecting to be getting the Magical Express So that was another thing we had to factor into this trip. But the staff at Aventura arranged it all for us and were super helpful. So we can't thank them enough. We got to Orlando Airport. It was exactly the same as it normally is. There was no change at all. You wouldn't believe there was a pandemic or a crisis about to happen or anything. A couple of people with face masks on more than usual. But there were more and it was a little bit more noticeable. But in terms of social distancing and crowds no difference at all. So we um, went to the airport. I was absolutely ecstatic when I found out that the Disney store was open. The Disney at MCO is open. You have never seen a happier face before. I can finally go to the Disney store and spend all my money. We had heard on, I think it was on social media or from Disney Direct that all of the Disney stores around the country were closing. So the fact that the two in Orlando Airport were open, I was so excited. So I was like a kid at Christmas when I saw that the Disney store was open. I had a gift card from Virgin Holidays that was burning a hole in my pocket, so it would have been rude not to spend it. So I had to get my Disney fix in. So we went to both the Disney stores and I'd managed to pick up the spirit jersey I'd been eyeing up before we left. So I was really happy. Happy. Ben grabbed a t-shirt and yeah just made that little bit of time at the airport nicer seeing as we weren't supposed to have been leaving. So the flight home itself was absolutely packed. There was not a spare seat on the plane. Uh, we saw a couple of Um, other families we'd seen at the um, hotel on our flight and they initially said they were hoping to stay so it was quite sad to see them on the flight when we knew they weren't planning on going home early like we did when we heard the news so yeah it was a bit disappointing for them the flight home was okay Um, I find it quite claustrophobic on night flights if somebody in front of me has their seat back especially in economy Um, I struggle to sleep on planes so having the screen that close like three inches from my face it's hard to see and watch really but it wasn't too bad of a flight we had a nice gentleman sat next to Ben I was at the window seat and he had a little six month old baby which was really cute but it was sad that like families with newborn children like little ones they weren't even sat together just because the plane was absolutely full. The plane was really clean. They were much more like conscious of cleanliness, I want to say. like Not the planes are dirty, but they were just being more mindful of it, I guess, at the time. And they let us know over the tannoy like, how clean the air was and what they were doing to try to help. We first off noticed this difference when we landed in Gatwick, though. It was dead. <laughs> I never got through security at an airport in the UK so quickly. We literally flew through. It was amazing really and then 
Ben's stepdad kindly picked us up from the airport, which it was like seven in the morning UK time, I think, or eight. Not sure, but he would have had to leave at the crack of dawn, bless him. So thanks, Hanley. And yeah, so we got back then and that was that. Um, so yeah, this is the wrap up of our trip. Sorry, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. This is our first time vlogging as well. So I've learned a lot from it. One thing I learned is I have a very shaky hand. I'm like this which isn't great with filming so I need to learn to be steadier or perhaps when we're walking Ben needs to hold the camera because he's a lot more careful than I am so he's probably gonna get a steadier shot. I learned that I need to be more conscious of filming at the end of each ride and before we go on so we don't have to keep cutting away to me at home afterwards. Um, as my first vlog I've really enjoyed it and can't wait for us to go back and vlog our next trip which hopefully you guys will follow along with us. I had fun I hope you guys have too. In terms of going back Virgin have said that we can rebook but we are still waiting to hear back from them. Um, I messaged them beginning of April and I've just had an automated response. I chased it up last week and still nothing. I did have a response from Virgin travel insurance yesterday yesterday or the day before saying that they have opened up our claim so not sure if it's going to be going through the travel insurance or through virgin we were hoping to go back in october but the way that the world is not sure if that's going to be the case now i'm um, just waiting to see as we want it to be fully reopened and not just a phased reopening so if not it might be next year but i hope you guys come along on our next trip for us for us i hope you guys come along on our next trip with us um, if you have liked this vlog and this series, please let us know in the comments um, and let me know what you'd like me to do more of, less of next time, I guess. Um, I'm going to try and get loads more content coming for you soon to my channel. So I've been filming song reviews, ride reviews, um, playing video games, just things here and there. Um, and I've got a Q&A coming for you soon as well with questions from my Instagram. So if you haven't checked out my Instagram, please do. It's Vicky underscore through the looking glass and if you have stuck with me to the end thank you so much so please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys really soon bye guys